Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue and I'm a Hatch educator and today we are working on tablets. We are going to work with a pen and tablet. This is just an introductory video just to help everyone out who wants to use a pen and tablet with Hatch. I would like to say first off that you don't have to. This is just an accessory. You don't have to buy the one that I have. I can't show all of them. I can only show the ones that I have. The tablet that I'm using happens to be a Wacom Intuos Pro. Um, again, any other tablet is fine. Mine is pen and touch, and I'm going to show you how to work with that. And it's just what I happen to have. So let's get started on this. Now, the first thing is I want to show you what you get if you buy this one. You get this is the tablet part, and mine is wireless. It's plugged in right now because it has to charge. If you plug it in, that's fine. It sits on your desk like a mouse pad. So basically, this is your mouse pad. And this is your mouse. This is the pen that it comes up with, comes with. And this is just simply a pen holder. You can put the pen in like this. You can set it there so it's not, it's not that delicate, but you don't want it rolling on the desk and rolling all over the floor or anything like that. Um, and that's what it is. The other thing is there's a secret compartment in this one. And you can see... There's a secret compartment and these are just nibs and that's the nib holder thingy of how you change them. But you don't have to worry about any of that for now. So let's put this guy aside and let's get started with our tablet. Now, you can see on the side here, I have a whole bunch of buttons. We are not going to be getting into the buttons today. Uh, we are just going to be working with the pen and tablet and that's it. So just to get used to what you're working with, by the way, these points right here are the extent of what it's going to read. Now, there's a lot of settings that come with the Wacom Pro. I don't want you guys to change anything right now. Just go in with the basics. You have to download a driver and a few other things, Would, whichever um, tablet you get, follow the instructions and get everything to work and then we can go through it. So mine, like I said, is touch. So if I touch it with one finger, you can see it moves my mouse. It moves the mouse on the screen. So we're going to work with the tablet just a little bit, just with the touch, not with the pen. We're going to put the pen aside. How about on its holder? That's perfect. So one finger moves it. Let's go to digitize open shape and we're going to tap and we're going to come back. Hatch works exactly the same. If you have a mouse or if you have a tablet, it's exactly the same. You still have to do the same things. Nothing changes in Hatch. The only thing that's changing is how you're telling Hatch what to do. So we're going to put down a point and for a straight point, it's just one tap. You see how that works? And for a curved point, it's two fingers. So just two finger tap two finger tap. There you go. There you go. And you make your curves and just practice this a little bit. So it's one finger to drag, two fingers to tap, one finger to drag, one finger, one finger, two. You get a little rhythm going on. So just kind of make a little doodle just to get used to it, just to get the feel of what you're doing and the feel of working inside Hatch without a mouse because that's basically what you're doing. So let's hit enter and let's, with our one finger, let's go up to our select and we've selected it. Now I'm just gonna hit the delete key. Now let's get our pen. Let's look at our pen, how we hold it and just hold it like you would a normal writing pen. You have to make sure the buttons are where you can reach them. And how I do it is that I use this finger for the buttons. So if you have to turn it in your fingers, in your hand to get it comfy, just kind of practice, make sure, because if you have to stretch over this way, you're not going to hit it. So you want it in the right spot. The other thing that I have done, and I suggest that you do, if you can, depending on what tablet you buy, there's two buttons. There's a bottom and there's a top. So you get different things with the bottom and with the top. So what I've done is I've changed them both to right click. So that way, if you hit it wrong, just while you're practicing, if you hit it wrong, you still get the same results. And I find that might be helpful. 
So, okay, let's put it to the tablet. It will only work on the tablet, so you have to have the pen and the tablet together. Let's bring it over. Let's do a freehand, nope, let's do a digitize open shape. Now, to put a point down, you just tap with your pen. Just tap, 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 tap. Now, these are all straight points, and you just tap and kind of draw it out. When you're done, you hit enter. As always, we're going to go up to select and we're going to click the delete button. Now let's do this a little bit more, but we're going to add in some curves. Now this is the tricky part. It's not that difficult. You just need to practice just a little bit to do it. So what we're going to do is do our button. Now move your pen around how you want it so you're comfy. And I'm going to click and I'm going to put a point down. Now if you click and tap, like it says, it says click and tap, then you're going to put a straight point. I'm going to exaggerate the movement and you guys can see it's not a tap, it's more of a flick. And I'm exaggerating it, you don't need to do it quite that much. And of course there's settings that you can do to, you know, accommodate how you want to do it. I'm doing it exaggerated, I don't work this way. But it makes it work and you'll be able to fine tune your tablet to how you want. So I'm holding down, I actually didn't even let up of the mouse or of the right button there on, it's not a mouse, it's a pen. So do you see what I'm doing? Flick, flick, flick. If you want a straight point, let go. And my finger kind of stays up there, but you can move your pen around, you can roll it around. There we go, a whole bunch of straight points. Let's go back to the curved points and we're going to click, we're going to hold the button, click, flick, click, flick. There you go. And you get the idea of it. Now, of course, you can make the smaller movement and it still works. Not all the time though, if you see, I missed one. So I'm just going to make it bigger and you can see. Now it will take you a little bit of practice and you are going to have to fine tune a little bit, but this is how you use a pen and tablet here inside Hatch Embroidery Software. I hope this has given everybody a really good introduction into how to use your tablet and how, what the tablets are and how to use them inside Hatch. And I hope everybody practices a little bit. Practice is your hold your pen properly, get used to it, get used to the feel of it and practice those right clicks. I don't think you'll have any problems with any other things. If you want to do something else, you just simply touch on it. If I want to take off true view, I take it off. If you want to show different things, there you go. Everything is exactly the same. It's just how you're accessing it. Look over here. I can change it to triple run. I can change it to motif. I can change it to zigzag just by touching on the, with the pen, onto the tablet exactly like you would do with a mouse. So thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.